No, 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 no heroes. No, 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 no heroes. No heroes, baby. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the top 60 match. Here we got to the left. The Giovanni with the red purple love. Yeah, finally we can see some interesting decks here. And on the right, the most common, uh, one of the best decks in format right now with uh, Zagazuki. Yeah, yeah, it's a very interesting matchup. I think uh, red purple love is definitely a lot in fair in this matchup. Yeah. I, I told you, man, I told you last round, red purple love, he just needs to dodge his bad matchups. There are a lot of Zagazukis. I think he also has a good matchup against uh, Moria. Yeah. It's not that bad. With Red Purple uh, you want to see Zagazuki as the opponent. Yeah. Right? Red Purple Law is really a sleeper deck in this uh, meta. Yeah. And yeah, I would actually be really happy to see him uh, move on. Yeah. So... I mean, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, the best player uh, should uh, win. That's true. That's so uh, yeah, na the names were on the wrong side. Uh, they are uh, fixing it uh, right now. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sorry for that issue, for the problem. But um, okay, so we have Tim to the left and Giovanni on the right here with Sagazuki. <clears throat> sorry for that again. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so plays a new blocker. Who's actually quite popular in, in, in a lot of red decks? Yeah, yeah. This this is one of the best blockers that came out. Okay, right Giovanni now. plays the Kuzan, which uh, will not stay there for long, I think. So they get noticed to put a dice into their life, but I mean, we can still not read <laughs> the number of the dice. Uh, I think he's at uh, three life yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Um, life and, uh, both, for both players, yeah. actually. Okay, so uh, Tim, in, on his five down turn, he most likely will uh, somehow bottom deck the Kuzano, maybe with an Otama, or maybe with a, a new race max card. I mean, we already saw a law in the uh, top matches, and he even played a Fulm deck. Uh, so a oh, Fulm deck with, with, the, uh, with a searcher. With the with Fiesta yeah, searcher. Yeah, it, it, it was actually uh, it's actually a good uh, yeah a good idea if, by, because there are a lot of new film cards which are good to play in the deck. Like uh, especially the Race Max is very good to yeah, play. The good. Gordon, which is the also Shiraya very important to play. The Shiraya is searchable, so uh, it might actually be now pretty common to play uh, Buena Fiesta in red purple law okay but tim decides to play the five drop kit and uh, also the beppo with the leader ability bottom decks the tashig i think and the problem is kuzan is still on board so most likely tim had no uh reduction, reduction in his hands so no otoma no gordon no uh race max or, or whatever and this is actually quite a problem because Kit is a very valuable card in um, Red Purple Law. That's true. And Giovanni will be able to probably remove it by an ease now. Yeah. So not targeting Shiraya is right now at 5k because of his effect. If he swings, he gets like the uh, base power of the opponent's leader until the start of his next turn. And uh, yeah, as you said, the Kuzan is a very big threat here right now. He can reduce the cost of uh, Moria, uh, of uh, the 5 cost kit, to 1. Yeah, why would you bottom deck Tashig instead of Kuzan? Because he couldn't bottom deck the Kuzan. Uh, Lost little bit says you can bottom deck someone with a three thousand power or less. So in order to bottom deck the Kuzan, you need something like Otama or Gordon to reduce his power, so you can bottom deck him. And I guess that Tim uh, had no uh, such card to do that, so he had to go for the Tashigi. Yeah. All right. So Giovanni. He no. has the Rob Luke in it's hand. Tim. Of... It's Tim. No, 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 don't forget that. Oh, oh no. But... They... Oh, okay, okay. They're switching now. No, okay. Sorry again. It's, uh, no, it's not on the right side. So Giovanni mm -hmm. has the Rob Luke in hand. So he can technically uh, get rid of two of his um, characters now. Yeah. He did swing into the blocker and uh, reduce the cost of the uh, kit. Uh, no, Toto, Chiroya's effect is, as I remember correctly, at the start of his next turn, not of the end of the turn. Okay. <clears throat> oh, and he actually planned a new 2 event. Oh my, oh my god, that was just... 
Okay. And that was such a beautiful. Yeah. Yep. Uh, that's a, that's this... the problem if you have to uh, uh, keep the cousin on board, right? So if you can't remove the cousin on board, he easily can. This new re- event is such. This yeah. like this new event allows you to do the Trinity combo for two less done. You know. Yeah, that's true. So but, usually but you, you always do it, on board, right? So always you you the yeah, but I mean you you, just, you saw what he just did. So he basically removed. Two of his characters, one of them uh, being the five drop kit yeah, with six stone, and he also now has a block on board and the rest of the team now. So yeah. yeah, it's just it's just insane. Okay, there comes another kit. Hopefully, Tim now has something like uh, Ultima to get rid of the Kuzan. Otherwise, it's not so he would... any reduction in sense. Okay, so he got rid of the Rebecca, I think. Oh, place the. Uh, Rage to draw two is, cards and, and uh, get one active with ooh. the kit ability. Red Purple is such a beautiful deck, so, man. Yeah, Red Purple is such a beautiful man. Forcing Giovanni to counter with the two and one K. And so watching someone play uh, Red Purple is just a work of art, man. Yeah. So I like this deck either. So <laughs> we are really hoping that uh, Red Purple Law will make far here because it's it's like a very, very nice deck, right? So now Giovanni's turn with seven done. Oh no, it's, it's eight done, right? So he went second. Eight done, yeah. Right? yeah. So Giovanni decided. So, so he can done. potentially go for Maria play this yeah, turn, that's or just for the uh, Trinity play. He even has the Maria in yeah. hand, I think. So he has a Kuzan for a tempo play. If he has another venue, for example, he can draw two cards with the Echoes Maria and establish a big board with the big threat with the Focus Kuzan. Mm, okay, so we just swings by reduce the kit to minus one. So you just turn us out of that with the battle. Trashing the Robucci to get the Robucci in the trash, maybe to want to play it out with the Ed Cost Maria? Maybe. If he has some uh, something like Tsuru or the Hanepo to reduce the cost of the kit, why not? I think he has the Tsuru because if he would have the Hanepo, he would have gone for the play earlier. That's true. So he most likely has a Tsuru in trash, I, I assume. I mean, uh, many Zagazukis are playing only one copy of Hanepo because of mm-hmm. the... Uh, because the deck even has two Marias in hand and two Tsuru. So oh, I'm not okay, sure. going for the temple play here, drawing two oh, cards. Oh, so he's, he's not removing him at, at all. So he's just, uh, he just draw a card of Kuzan and now looks at the top five. Another Tsuru. I think it's the third Tsuru he saw right now. Yeah. Uh, so his hand is stacked with two Ks and he ha- also has another Maria. So now we see a reduction with Otama in the red purple uh, in Tim's hand. So he can get rid of the four cost Kuzan here, play out the. I I, I, I... Yeah, I'm sorry for interrupting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's okay. He can play out something like Shiroya with uh, uh, hard play it and with his elite ability, he has enough done for it. So. I think he there's also it's 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 a rage on the left, so he can potentially play another rage to draw through another two cards. Yeah, that's true. And he has and uh and also has one done could uh, have one done open for the radical beam. Uh, he... Okay, I think it's uh lagging again. No no uh, we can see it again here. So decides to play the Otama most probably into the Focus Kuzan here. Playing all the Raju. To draw two cards and now removing the Farkos Kuzan with his lead ability and playing out, I would say, the Shuraya. Okay, so. Yeah, no. No, it's a, it's a new Zoro, I'll that. Yeah, nice. And swing for five here into face. Decides to oh, swing wait. with the blocker into his leader. Swings with the kid. Leaving one on open for the radical beam with the effective 4k counter. So, no passing over to Giovanni. Mm. 
yeah, there's a decision going on here in the uh, in the chat. It's like uh, why would uh, shuffle the players always uh, uh, their cards in hand? I mean, I think it's <laughs> it's just a habit. I yeah. I also do it. I usually do it when I'm thinking. Yeah, so like, right. so when I'm thinking like about something like serious, let's say. Uh, if I'm in the top pit or something, I like I have to do something with my hands, man. Right. I'm that type That's of right. guy, That's and right. I think a lot of players are like that, and they just uh, start to shuffle their hand. So even if they are stressed in in a top six match of such a big tournament, so I mean I'm uh, I'm a shuffler too. So ninety <laughs> percent of the players are shuffling their uh, their cards, swinging nine k into. The Raju here, letting her go. Yeah, there's a lot of thought on uh, Tim's side, so Giovanni definitely has to deal with that one. Still keep. I'm actually surprised that he. Okay, no, never mind. He has one done open. I was about to say I'm surprised that he did not swing to the kid, but then I saw the one done yeah. open for the potential radical beam. So it was definitely the right choice to swing into the. Resting another eight done for a Gekko Moir here. Has some good options in the stretch, playing out the Tsuru and the Hina to reduce the cost of most probably two cards here. Okay, and then the most like, oh, I think he didn't, I think he misplayed. No, he didn't misplay, he just uh, oh, okay, he didn't play the Tsuru out. Ah, okay, okay. Because the reduction was anyways there and All removed right. with the new event the two cards there. So now the red purple lost. Turn here with six open dons. To be honest, not looking that good here for a long. I mean, yeah, I mean, Giovanni had an answer to every uh, play to make. Um, I mean, it's just <laughs> it goes Maria things, man. Yeah. Uh, seeing two of them in your hand as a second duke play is just, uh, uh, yeah, awesome for you. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> Yeah, it's uh, lagging again a bit. I don't know if you, if you can hear us, but I think the stream is over right now. Okay, so place the Ultima, reducing the Hina and removing her. Play the Rush Zoro and then probably just going for life. Yeah, once again, we are sorry for the bad uh, internet connection we have here. <clears throat> okay, so Giovanni's turn, I think. Think about how he can deal with Tim's board. He has two Marias in play. Yeah, Taro, that's actually a good take, but I'm not so sure about that if they do it or not. Um, maybe maybe make... should work again. Okay, so yeah, I hope you can. <laughs> We kept talking. I don't know if you called tears or not, because I think I'm not sure if the stream was down or just lagging. But yeah, anyways, so it's uh, Giovanni's turn. 
he still uh, think about how he can remove him spot. He pitched a uh, Rapunuki for the leader ability. If I'm not wrong, swings five, swings five. Um, I don't know what exactly he did reduce now with the leader ability. Actually, I mean, Golfer finishes hard here because of the one up and down uh, for the potential vertical beam here, and. And we also have the confirmation by No Heroes Now, so all games are recorded and will be uploaded to YouTube. So No Heroes, even though we had some internet uh, problems here, you will be able to watch them all again on YouTube. Bottom decking this is all reducted by the leader ability of Zakazuki, and now swinging 5 again with the Tashigi. Leaving 8 don't open, so he has to really give him it, or otherwise he is uh, in finish range. With the two eight cost Morias here, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, 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 the right decision here. He okay, so he just goes for bot there now, swings no. nine again at late. Has still eight done open. It's the race max. I think that's like the third. Oh, one yes, the race max out of his life to reduce. Okay, it's a Rebecca, anyways. Jeez. Now the turn of the law player with the only five is, stone. Even even if Tim has something to, I mean, he has something to remove uh, uh, the Rebecca. But the problem is, it's only at five stone. It's only at five stone. So he can just do two seven k swings, and I think uh, Giovanni can easily counter out of that one. So it's. Pretty safe to say that game one actually goes to Giovanni. Yeah, so it's actually obvious that Giovanni will win this. Uh, in the case uh, here of Tim, he actually should just concede here yeah. to have the time. Yeah, just have the time. I mean, uh, there's just one play with for which he can go for. I mean, he can go for finish here, obviously. But I mean, the, that's he one... will not survive anyone. To play yeah. again, so that's the thing. He, so has, to go for he has to go for finish this turn. He knows that he uh, won't be able to. Uh, Survive the next turn, so just play the race, make so one down, uh, remove the Rebecca. Yeah. Oh, it goes for 7k here. I mean, easy block here right now. Yeah, okay, so he didn't even want to remove those for another, another seven at Hina. At Hina, okay, okay. Reduce, okay, no, he plays the one down, plays the race max, reduce the Kuzan, most likely, and plays the blocker with the leader ability. But I don't know if that, with, with I don't know. So, I don't know. No chance, but... <laughs> so, yeah. It is a easy finish here, just swing, swing, yeah, swing. You should just go into the game, too. Yeah. Like, with, I, I wouldn't want to sound rude or something, but it is the top card you saw in the last match That's true. Uh, where they went into time and they had a lot of problems because of that. So, yeah, just. If you know that if you're in the top card, you know it's a best of three, yeah. and you know that there's like no possibility for you to win this game, just you know go for the next one and uh, try your best. I mean, um, last round he did it as well. Yeah, the Michel did the it Michel. as well. Yeah. He uh, surrendered game one and then won game two and game three yeah. because he had that extra time because he just uh, surrendered the first game. So the first match, so the first game is going here for the win of Zakazuki. Now the second match is 1-0 for Zakazuki here. We are still hoping the best for the Red Purple Law player. Because yeah. he, he's the only one in the top. He's like, he's like the underdog. Like yeah. we, we all love the underdog, man. Like yeah, uh, it, it, it would be boring to just see another Zakazuki win a tournament. That's true. So we, we just want uh, to yeah, for the underdog decks like Red Purple Law. I think there are also some uh, there's a rage in top sixteen. There were like two or three rages yeah. in At the least top one card. Rage. Uh, no. And at least one made into the top card, you're right. I don't know if Yamato has one. The... I don't know, I, I didn't uh, hear about him. Yeah. So we only have like Moria's, Zagazuki's, and Katakuri. Yeah, we have like Moria's, Zagazuki, Katakuri's. We have one way, uh, one, one Reju, one, one Reju. Exactly. Maybe one Yamato, but maybe, yeah. But uh, this tournament is like completely crazy. Like this top card looks insane to me. There are yeah. uh, Way less Sakazukis than we all expected, and yeah, move on. A lot of fam famous players, some are still in, some are still out. Hervoya lost his first match in the top 32. Who would have thought about that? Yeah. One of, if not the best uh, European player yeah, we true. currently have, and uh, even at, <laughs> well, 
even he loses sometimes. But well, you can't uh, win them all, I guess. So yeah. Okay, we are heading into game number two. So Law most probably decides to go second here. Yeah, most likely. No, still deciding if he should keep his uh, hand. Game one, uh, Tim uh, Rifas of the Red of Law lost. Game one. Keeping his hand, facing his four life cards here. And now Zagazuki starts round two. Ah, uh, uh, we were talking about Hervoya, the guy who um, was the runner up in the European finals and the runner up at the World, uh, World Championship. A very well known and talented player from Croatia. Okay, so. Do you want to go first place with Tashigi finds the hound blade? I mean, it's like of the one of the best openers if you go with Sakazuki first, right? I, I think so. Finding like... the home places <laughs> just wins the game here. No, red purple law doing a team doing nothing in the second turn, and here comes another Tashigi. For Zagazuki potentially searching for a brand new to fill mm -hmm. his board, and there he it is the brand new to fill his trash and to fill his board with the uh, home place targets here. And a very beautiful start for Giovanni. I think this, I think going first is actually the best start you can have. That's true. Turn one Tashigi, turn two Tashigi into a brand into new. A brand new yeah. Like this is just insane. That, that's the best start a Zagazuki player can have, right? Yeah, definitely. It's, this is a very good start. I think he's thinking about uh, using his uh, lead ability yeah, and picking the Sabo away. Sabo, so already two in uh, the trash. He knows that Sabo has no value, no value because, because uh, you know, Law is not KOing. He always uh, puts the cards on the deck. True. So the uh, protected from KO effect from Sabo will not have a lot of value in this matchup. Very good decision here from Giovanni to trashing the Sabo here. Okay, so Tim on his fourth on turn. Pitching away to contact with the two. He just placed it to the radio for. Uh... So playing the radio, but not being able to draw two cards because of having more than five cards in hand. Playing the. Uh, bottom decking the uh, okay, brand new. Okay, yeah, I see, I see. So. But wait a second, he could have. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, now no, I see it. I mean, he could have played it the other way around yeah, but the but problem is he would have been then at one done like uh, that would not have been that efficiently so um i think this was the right decision to just play the rage without the even though yeah but he got a zero in hand but just separate body uh, the zero is on uh is on uh three so he costs three and that's why he's easy removable with the lead ability. Yeah, that's so true. that's and why he decided. And he also to put knows, the and he also knows that he has the home yeah, place. So, uh, so it will be very easy target for Giovanni to remove. Okay, so he swings five into light. Tim takes it. Oh, and he actually pitches down the home place. Draws into oh, the stage, oh, the stage. very which interesting. Is not very common. You, no. I think I've never seen a top cut. Zakazuki deckless who plays the stage. That's interesting. I mean, even with the eight cost Maria, it is actually actually a very good uh, option to play the stage. In your eight cost turn, you have the one uh, cost being able to reduce more. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it is uh, like um, it is uh, like a very good tech card in combination with eight cost Maria. Yeah, it is. It is because basically on the eight on turn. Uh, with the map, you give him minus three, yeah. with the with leader the minus one, stage, stage minus stage one, so minus one. minus uh, five. So whatever your opponent's plays on the seventh on turn will get removed in your eight yeah. on turn with your Maria. Yeah. So it's actually a very good uh, take card. That's true. So if, but, for example, the category player plays all the seven cost big one. Yeah, seven cost big one on the eight on. Exactly. That's a good take card here right now. But the problem is, like, how did he find the space for the stage yeah, card, man? Know. Like... The list I've seen, they've been so tight because of all the new cards you want to play. And, and he also plays them. He plays the Tashigi, he plays yeah. the Moria, he plays That's a new Tudon event. Like, and he also still plays all the cards from OPO5. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this, 
He plays the Trinity yeah. combo. He plays the Bowser, you know, he plays the Kuzan, he yes. plays the Sabo. Yeah, maybe so. I'm not sure about the seven cost boss on yeah. Did we uh, see it? I, I don't no, think. No, I don't think so. But I don't think we saw it in the game. Maybe one. playing Red Option for uh, of, uh, with a copy of three, maybe something like that. Maybe, but uh, do you think so? like a Red Option? Know. It's a Red Option. Um, like, kind of. It, kind it's of. a Red Option on play, right? Kind of. Yeah. Okay, so. Tim. Yeah, he uh, he got he cut great eruption as I assumed. Uh, Max is saying, so or maybe no ice edge. Who knows? Or playing only one ice edge instead of two. Mm. So I just assumed that he uh, cut one of his reduction cards. No ice edge, no great eruption. Plus three Kuzan. No, I don't think so. <laughs> we we still have some great eruption. Uh, I... <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. And yeah. So Zagazuki without great eruption is not Zagazuki. He runs neither Ice Age nor Great Eruption. Really? Okay, is that that's... true? He's playing seven consoles, you saw the special in the first Tashigi search this game. Oh okay, well, seven... so then we missed that. He's, he's not playing any but Cost reduction events. But to be honest, I didn't remember I didn't remember that he played any ice edge or uh, great eruptions, right? No, he didn't actually. No, at least not in game one. Okay, so we actually have the deck list here posted by uh, okay, that's, Max. That's, that's where we're... I'm trusting you that he's yeah, not of course. Any, uh, I mean, it, it's uh, I think uh, everyone can look them up the deck list that's on true, Limitless. Yeah. Uh, yeah, very interesting. Very interesting Germanic, because there's I... no uh, great eruption. No, I, <laughs> that's very I didn't see that. I mean, he the, came that, from 16, it works. It, yeah, it has to work. Like, yeah. Yeah, and Giovanni, Giovanni Salvatore is also a very uh, famous and well-known player. It's it's not his first top card, he, so he, he uh, probably also <laughs> had a lot of thoughts building this decklist, and it's working. So yeah, that's crazy, man. That's crazy. Okay, so it's actually. Looking kind of good for Giovanni again. He has an answer to every uh, to everything Tim is playing. Yeah, there comes the rush zone for just the three down. But he takes it. Place the garden to bottom deck the Hina. Maybe there comes another rush sorrow, maybe just the three down blocker, or maybe another Shachin Penguin to just uh, gain these uh, dunce back. Or maybe a Rachel to draw two cards? Yeah, there are a lot of play options here right now, but I think something, some, something like Shachin Penguin would be very good because otherwise you, yeah, yeah, because otherwise you would have been at four down next turn, which is <laughs> not yeah. a, that much, and this way he's at six again. Keeping one down alive here for the. Radical Beam, which is in range to counter for 4k because of the two life cards. And yeah, no, it's Zagazuki's turn with <laughs> no great interruptions and no asset. I can't, I still cannot believe it to be honest. Yeah, <laughs> but like, <laughs> well, so yeah, there, there we see the stage again. So basically, yeah. your reduction card is the stage card. Uh, yeah, basically. I would assume that he's playing it at least on three, right? I mean, the thing is, you can just always, the on play is the same as great eruption, you know? Yeah. So, um, but we, so, you, so you basically trade the draw yeah. you get from Great Eruption, yeah. but instead you will get the additional minus one every time with the stage card. That's true. And whenever you will need that minus two instead of that minus one, you can just play the stage again out of your hand. I think that it works that way. Yeah. I'm not that familiar with stage cards in uh, One Piece CCG. I <laughs> never played a deck which uh, used one actually. So. So picking up four dons, uh, maybe resting it for play. Something for four or no, attaching it to the leader to swing 9k, a charge and penguin, and reducing the cost of Zoro by one. No, Zoro is a two yeah, cost. He would probably have a home place or the, just the a new event. Yeah. I saw that he has the, he had the two an event to bottom deck uh, two of his uh, characters. But letting him die, I mean, whether uh, uh, it could be and a one k is. Okay, so for three the... down, he plays the Hina. Okay, oh, now the Hina and bottom deck slam. Okay. Here it he just has an answer to everything, that's man. True, that's true. I, I don't know if it's <laughs> if it's just Giovanni or if it's just Zakazuki. Like, it doesn't matter what you play. Yeah. Zakazuki never runs out of resources. That's true. Like they always remove whatever you play. 
It's ah, this thing is just insane. No red, mm. purple, low on the turn with two, three cause zeros, and I think I saw a low and a radio in the sand. Playing out the three cause zero, swing for five again, maybe play another zero to swing five and play the oh, rage out of his lead ability. No, wait a second. Yeah. Maybe he's, he will try to go for game right here. Yeah, to doing the lead ability. Oh, playing the Zoro yeah. and then swinging for A. Good choice here. Yeah. Good choice. Yeah. Good I mean, choice. That's game. And, so and that's game. That's game. Win oh, for that very well here. played. Well, very well played by Tim. Okay, and we will actually see a game three. Yeah, we will see a game three. Very like, interesting. GG, GG to Tim, both players. Tim actually really did send his ground. Always doing like this chip, and this is like the deck of Red Pepper Law. You know, yeah. you remove your opponent's board. That's you true. do a lot of these five K swings. And your opponent, in this case Giovanni, has to deal with your board. And like, then, and then you can see that uh, he misses the great option draw one uh, to potentially draw into a one K to protect uh, the yeah, damage. You know, that's so. The thing. That's the thing. That's so. Both players very hyped. They have much time left. Actually, I saw like twenty eight or twenty nine minutes. Yeah, like they have like half an hour left. So I think that's plenty they have, of time. They, they, man time. they managed to play two games in this uh, during this uh, time. So there will probably be no overtime uh, in, on this feature match at least. Oh, Buda went o two sadly. Buda o two sadly. Well, it is what it is. Yeah, unfortunately. It is yeah, but but he managed to came top sixteen, still pretty good. So, yeah, unfortunately, he didn't make. It. So both players shuffling their decks. No, Zagazuki. What does someone good playing? Yeah, I mean we have like very yeah. good players actually in, in the feature match, like so, just like in the top thirty-two. I mean they are all good players. Like if they yeah. wouldn't be good players, they wouldn't be on the uh on the top card of this event. Yeah, that's true. I mean, there's a top card of such a big event with seven hundred sixty-eight players or something, and uh, these are the best of the best. But even the best will go up. like like uh, Hirvoya. For example, he just uh, did manage to come to top 16, as already mentioned. Or Fabian, the European uh, player, didn't even reach the top cards, so... Yeah. Being even the European champion not making it to the top card just shows what, like, how many good players there are on this That's tournament, true. actually. Like, That's so true. many familiar faces, even though we uh, only were, like, I think, 700-ish players. Yeah. Um, it's... Yeah, 768 players, to be correct, and yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, in the card game, you always need luck, right? So I mean, it's, luck it's, is always involved. It's, 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 an, it's an every TCG. It's That's not true. only one piece. It's an every TCG. Luck is always involved in a trading card to, game. You need to see the cards. <laughs> That's very, very important for your yeah, player. Exactly. Game. Like, um, it's... Luck is always involved in in, uh, in the trading card game. But so we are hyped now for the third match, Red Purple Law versus Zagazuki. What do you think? Which uh, who will win that? Uh, I hope Red Purple Law. Yeah, I hope to. Uh, because I would love to see him again on stream. Because yeah. it's just, I just like seeing Red Purple Law, man. This deck is so fun and just. And to be honest, I don't want to. I don't want to see Zakazuki in every match, man. Like we have seen a lot. Of, we have we have seen enough Zakazuki. <laughs> like <laughs> that's too much. I'm just tired of the stick, man. I'm tired of the Zakazuki. Yes, <laughs> keep them away, please. <clears throat> yeah, but that's why I was always excited yesterday when we saw like the Ra the Rage players Rangers. or the Yamato players. You know, yeah, that's true. Starting off with the brand new here, Vekapolo doing nothing in his wrong. Long turn, not even playing out the garden to to prep uh, to prepare it for the next turn. Yeah, I mean, I mean, <laughs> I think Zakazuki is like Let the you... deck you like the biggest deck you can't do it. You want to do that the, the least. Yeah. So yeah, okay. He <clears throat> already got uh, one Rob Luke in his trash for potential plays, and Tim just swings eight into life. Came to life. Don't say anything. I think he. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it, I, why not? Because he probably thinks, you know what? 
if I play now something, they are, it, it's got to be most uh, three cores, maybe something like a rush sorrow, which will just hone plays. So we'll just swing eight and, you know, uh, make some pressure. We see another Tashigi. We see a Tashigi here, and I think I saw another one in the in the hand of the Zagazuki player here. So maybe a turn with full of searches again, which uh, Giovanni actually wants, right? So so the Zagazuki player just wants to search through the decks. Mm. Yeah, there is there another Tashigi. Does he have another brand new? Picking up the 2k, playing another, another Tashigi, maybe yeah. finding a brand new to play. The Giovanni brand new. really but... has a really good, uh, and the, and the even is the brand new. No, the question is, is he going to take it? I mean, that's a little, a little too much, right? So, just in this case, I would just take a tech card, like for example, the stage, if he doesn't have another one in the hand, and swing for five and for another five to the opponents. Okay, so he didn't even play the stage because he wants to keep the on player fair and, and thinks, okay, it's better to just swing twice five. Yeah, that's true. And Tim actually takes both. Yeah. Only need ability trashing the Zabu to draw yeah. another card. As Zabu. already said, Zabu is not the key card against Red Pepper Law. Yeah. <clears throat> because uh, the cards will just bottom, get in bottom decks and not KO, right? Okay, so Tim at five done. Oh, he plays the round table. Very, very interesting. Against the big moms. <laughs> against the, <laughs> the big, yeah, big against moms, the right? big drops and something like um Maria and stuff like that. Because he knows there will be a lot of Maria's in this yeah. tournament. So yeah, why not? It's a, a good tech decision. Yeah, I'm actually very interested in Tim's deck list, man, because yeah. This uh, Red Pepper Giovanni's deck list. Yeah, the, uh, I just want both deck list too. Yeah, same. Okay, so he plays all the kit. Plays the kit. So he did swing into the brand new, I think, and bottom deck. Ooh. One of the Tashigis, or is he swing? No, no, uh, one of the brand new. Uh, the, the only brand new, and now playing the four cost law to moving two cards off to rip two cards of Giovanni and oh, a home place and the boss. This is very good. So the home you can see the relief on uh, Tim's face because I think he was happy yeah. with what he discarded there for uh, Giovanni. Very nice turn. So playing two blockers, um, especially the kid in a deck like Law is very important yeah. because he will basically go minus stone every turn and getting that one done uh, back immediately uh, helps you out a lot. <clears throat> Has another Tashigi in hands. For a top five search here for a name card, maybe playing it, uh, playing her out. I see no uh, uh... another. This is the third Tashigi, right? Yeah, that's the third Tashigi he's playing. And the fourth one is in the grave. <laughs> so no Tashigi is for Giovanni anymore unless he plays them with Rebecca or uh, Gekka Moria. Okay, now let's see. So swing, swing, swing seven, reducing the kit minus one. So kit being at four now. He places. Oh, does he have a home place? No, no. I think you will play the Amano Murakumo, the Neo Two Don events. Yeah, to just bottom taking the home place we have at home. <laughs> so. But he has another one in hand. So. Okay, so like no big units from Giovanni so far. He only played like a bunch of searches. No, low would but he already is on one life. Yeah, but it's but with many uh, cards in hand, with many uh, good cards, he needs like uh, a um, fire fist for as an example to pop off a Rebecca. I mean, fire fist is pretty pretty good against uh, Zagazuki. You can reduce uh, something like a focus Kuzan. Bottom decking the uh, or Kayong with the side effect of the fire fist, the Rebecca bottom decking the Kuzan, getting rid with uh, eff effectively one card uh, of two characters. So, but um, yeah, 
We will see. Okay, swings five. Giovanni takes, goes down to two. Tim being at one and only at four down. That's the problem with the red pepper law. Like you have to be really good at the done management. Yeah. So you need this cast okay, like something, something like yeah. a Beppo yeah. or five course kit or Chashi Penguin. Him, yeah, maybe I think he's going for the Chashi Penguin now. Yeah. Bottom decking, one of the Chashi guys. Oh, he plays a Zoro. He, oh, he plays a Zoro actually. Was 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 it worth it? What to say? That was like minus going minus three down for an additional five k. I mean, it is what it is about uh, in in the low deck, right? You 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 only do the chip damage. Yeah, it is though. It is. So I mean, he could have. But swing. being at only four done, I'm I'm not at five done. I'm sorry after the Beppo. Yeah. I'm not quite sure if that uh, if I would have done that. But I hey, I guess he's the top player yeah. with the red Beppo law, and not me. Okay. Checking up his trash. Mm. We see some tech cards here, like Brandy, for example. Played out. Does he have the Ed Cosmorian hand? He does have an Ed Cosmorian hand. He is at mm, eight ton, I assume. Uh, yeah, I think so. This should be this eight ton turn. Eight ton, right. So potentially can play, can play the um, Moria, but he can do something like a brand new. And if, I mean, if there was a Kuzan, a brand new Kuzan. I think he. I'm pretty sure he has a Robluki, a Robluki in uh, trash. Yeah. So he needs some reduction, and with the stage card, actually, is able to remove. Yeah. Uh, two characters. That's what was we talking about, right? The stage card is pretty good if you play on on curved dead Cosmoria. You are still able yeah. to reduce uh, because we, two yeah. characters with the cost okay. of one at least. Right? Wait, wait, oh. so, so like without the stage card, he won't be able with the stage card. The action now is if yeah. he has some kind of cost reduction, like a Zuru or a Mepo in trash. That's true. <clears throat> Playing out. Okay, so swings five at the Zoro, minusing one the Beppo. He counters out of that one because Tim knows what's coming next. And he knows. I think the true here to have a true and trash to play it off uh, with the Ed Cosmaria here. Uh, that was a really smart play by yeah. Giovanni. I, I guess he had no um, cost reduction in yeah. his. So here it comes. Yeah, in his trash. Okay. Oh. Now there's some mm. issues here with the judge. Mm. Oh no, he has to play the active one first, so I think uh, this no, was I, a problem. No, I think uh, because he played the Rob Luke first and then the Tsuru, he cannot ah. do it uh, the other way. Ah, I see, but I see. I hope that he... No, this actually doesn't uh, matter because you play one active, you play one uh, rested, then choose which ability yeah, you want to equip, right? That's true, yeah, that's true. So, so when... when <laughs> to be honest, then I have no idea what was the issue there. Yeah. Okay, so Tim... Being now at four done, uh, Giovanni. We kind of had a similar situation last game, yeah, but this time Giovanni has a lot of more counters. That's true. Um, would you have, would you have uh, bottom deck the or KO the uh, Zoro? Because I think I would have went for the low. Oh no, he couldn't no, because he, couldn't, of, he, because couldn't, he had no, he has no Mepo, so yeah, he, he had to do it that way. Yeah. So he had to remove the Zoro, and it, it's better to remove the Beppo than the Law because the uh, Beppo just allows him to just regain some done again. <clears throat> okay, now Tim thinking what he's about to do in his turn. He's only at one life, he has a bunch of cards in hand. And the local law. I think he knows that he cannot go for a game. Um, but maybe if he has like the race max or something in hand, I see a golden there. He has a golden. Oh, yes, a golden. So okay, he so production. he can definitely go. Uh, but oh, he also has the round table, right? Yeah, he so he table. can also get rid of the uh, of the Gomuri if he wanted oh, to. He goes for finish. He goes seven k at life. Another seven k. Not the right choice, but. Seven cards in hand, but does he have another choice here? Yeah. And he so. and there's the fist bump. Yeah. So has he had like no counters in hand. He has so many cards. Like he could have played the round table, yeah. removed the Maria, yeah. uh, and still had the blocker. Yeah. 
That's I true. don't know, like, uh, I think, but we don't know the his, uh, cards in hand. Maybe it was like all bricks, but I think I, sh I would not have surrendered that, to be honest. I mean, he could have played like something like a fire fist in the uh, garden with three done, uh, keeping one alive to bluff 